I'm gonna see if I can do it. Yo! Oh, I think. Oh crap! He doesn't get mad. I hope. Uh oh. I don't know. Dude, he's he's mad out. at me. Oh no! Froggy, uh, no! Oh, I don't know how to save you. It's okay. Um, is he still aggro at me? Yeah, he's chasing you down. Run, oh, D-Mac. Crap! I'm running. I don't know what to where. I don't know where I can run though. I don't know what to do. I think he's gonna eat your face. Why? What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing on our brand new server, Alpha Tribe Baby, playing with Parados and Gaia. Should be pretty cool. We're on episode two. And guys, thank you so very much for coming, hanging out, joining me on these adventures. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, we got an awesome team. Speaking of awesome, two pteranodons, we've got flight, so so very cool. We finished off the episode making a saddle for our first pteranodon. Now something kind of strange happened in between episodes. Look at the saddle. I didn't color it up. It's different. It is not the saddle that we made. There's some type of glitch going on. Let's take a look at the saddle and look at it. It's a Parados Poison Pteranodon saddle. I don't know how this happened. I don't even have this Ingram unlocked. Um, I'm not going to complain because it is much better armor than what the vanilla saddle is. But I heard Froggy Man didn't actually put his saddle on his yet. And yeah, his changed too. And guess what? He cannot put it onto his Pteranodon. Yeah, it doesn't work. So if I take mine off it will not allow me to put it back on and that would suck so we got to go head out we're really low on chitin and keratin which is a requirement for crafting this saddle Let's see if we can get the heck out of here it's like a maze oh my goodness all right we're back where we started come this way bro come this way Ooh, is there's the door all right once we go through this door we can fly up. Thank goodness we are out. And look at that. We have flight. What a beautiful thing. But this isn't our better Pteranodon. We need to get another saddle for our other one. And I let the mod author know that uh, this the little bug glitch thing happens. Um, other things noticed. We do not have any type of special classic flyers type mod on on here right now so we can't do our movement speed which kind of stinks we're probably going to end up adding it but um yeah anyway what do we want to do for stats in this guy i'm thinking we probably want to get more melee again this is going to be kind of a throwaway guy eventually you know and just kind of a backup for flight but it's also going to be huge so that we can go and get crystals and whatnot so we'll be able to craft a spyglass a water jar all these sort of things yeah so we got to figure out where crystals and everything are um as far as looking at the map i forget how to put a waypoint on the map i know there's something to do it but we remember that's where we are this is where we are now where would crystals be i don't know we also we should go explore the map a little bit because we i've never seen this map before i have no idea what's around um, crystals are usually hanging out on top of mountains. So I'll start with the ones in these little floaty areas. I'll start with the ones closer by and then maybe we can work our way back. Um, and while we're doing that, let's go hunt for some chitin and keratin. Definitely, definitely. It'll also be sweet if we can get some teleporters going on today. Although, that may be a bit too much because we do need electronics. Oh, look at that awesome looking pteranodon. Oh, look at this guy. See, I don't know what we need to tame these guys. Look at him. He's beautiful. Should we just try and knock him out just for the heck of it? I mean, I think we can. I think we could knock him out. Let's see. Ooh, that's a divine. I wonder what you need to tame a divine one. Oh, crap. Wrong arrows. Did my arrows switch? Hold on. Switch this up. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy knocked out. Come on. Put it out. All right, there we go. There we go. He's going to lose the ball in a second. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Let's do it. Get knocked out. I have no idea what this guy is going to take to tame. So we got to hope that it works off of me. No. I don't even know. I don't know what his torpor was. I don't know if we should continue to follow him. Because those arrows are expensive. I was hoping it would go down that quickly. But yeah, we might not even be able to tame it. Should I follow him? Should I see? Yeah, why don't we follow him for a little bit? And we'll just go hunting for keratin while we're doing that. So, pretty cool. Divine. What is that from? It's either Gaia or Parados. I'm not sure which. We'll find out more once we get a spyglass. That's really the most important. Now, these snowy areas, they might be a good spot to get crystals. I don't know. I do not know. Ooh, look at all this. Whoa, wyverns. That's, uh, yeah. We will be creamed in two seconds. We can't outfly them yet. Oh my goodness. I wonder if the loot drops are affected at all on this map by um by the mods. I don't know. Maybe we could check it out. Maybe we're high enough level to do that one. This I don't know. Come here, brosy. Nice! Alright, well we're getting kills with our terrainid on at least. Let's do one more spin to collect this shenanigan. Sweet! Oh, 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 that's perfect. This is what we need. All right, 80 chitin. Come here, bro. Come here. Come at me. These are about the worst things that we could fight right now because they take away your stamina. Oh, my goodness. All right, any more of them? All right, we'll find out soon. We got to level up on our guy, which is epic. Let's go on the beach so if there's more ants, we can actually see them. Let's go, bro. And what do we get? What type of saddle? Iguanodon. Who cares? But we do have this. That's sweet. That is super sweet. I already have that Ingram unlocked, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, weight is gonna be the hugest issue on this guy. By far the hugest issue. I might go ahead and start bumping a couple of those. Iguanodon ascendant. That's not bad. That is not bad at all, but we should now have enough to make another saddle. So let's go ahead and do that. Train it on saddle. Bada boom! And I can actually switch up to my a little bit better statted terrain it on. Ooh, look at this beauty. Look at you. Oh man, so many pretty things. Um, this guy would probably I don't know if that's a modded one. See, this is what's so hard before we have a spyglass. I just don't know what we should do, but this guy, I'm pretty positive drops chitin or keratin from his shell, you know? Come here, bro. Let's go ahead and get him. Get a couple of levels. Oh, I hate how you gotta wait to do that barrel roll now, because it's a vanilla one. Alright, he's in a ball, so I can just stand here and slap him. I think we'll be good. What on earth is that? That guy. Poop thrower. What in the heck? Alright, another 60 keratin. That is super sweet. Look at him. He's all goofy. That's the beer drinking one. I don't even know. I don't want to get too close in case it aggros. But anyway, why don't we go switch up our other Tyranidon. And yes, let's continue on the hunt. Exploring the map, finding that crystal. All right, guys. Back at the base, I made up the new saddle. So you did wonderful, buddy, bro. By the way, these guys are getting named at the end of the episode. So I hope you guys left some epic name suggestions. But there we go. So it's not nearly as good of a saddle, but at least we can put it on and take it off. So sweet. A um, few other things I want to craft while I'm here real quick. And I almost forgot about. I want to be able to get the reusable grappling hook. Very, very important. And also very useful. So a grappling hook that we can literally just keep on using over and over again forever. Great for grabbing onto a flyer that's up too high. I know there are uh, guns that will make them land, but yeah. This is just super handy for our needs. So that is super cool. There's one other thing I wanted to craft too, but I can't seem to remember what the crap it was now. Oh wells, oh wells. Anyway. Let's uh, carry on. We should have hopefully better stats in this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a big one. I'm really glad I remembered when I did. Let's make some dinoid. We got tons of mushrooms last episode because all these trees around spawn are mushroom trees. And we can make dinoids, which fully heal your dino. It's just mayhoes and rare mushrooms. So let's go ahead, grab enough to make a hundred. 
Bada boom. Epic. So now we can heal our guy while we're out. Oh, this guy's so much faster, it feels like, too. Seriously, what's the weight? Already over 300. Yeah, all the stats are better. So that's huge. Let's go ahead and boost up this guy's melee for now. And I want to get more kite and keratin because we got to upgrade the saddle. That's going to be a biggie. Plus, we need to make more cementing paste and all sorts of things. Let's see if we can actually take these guys on. They're vanilla and they give kite and keratin. Hopefully, they're not mate boosted. Oh, nice. Come here, bro. Get no, 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 no. Oh, that's a modded one, I think. Oh, what happened? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Holy crap. Let's just spin there. Is that a new effect that trikes have? This is why we got to get a spyglass badly. Oh, my goodness. All right. We got to heal up our stamina. Oh, it's so rough. So rough starting out. All right. Here we go. Let's let all that shenanigans heal. Let's also throw Dynawade in them. So we can heal them up if we get in a bad scenario. All right, let's get that melee up a little bit higher, and then we gotta start working on stamina and health. Oh, is that, no, that's for my player. Nice, almost at 500 health, and we're at level 52 already. It goes so quick and modded, so cool. All right, come here, bro. Get wrecked! No, don't hit me, got you. All right. Got a good bit more keratin. I think we got enough that we can do an upgrade on our saddle. So I'm gonna go back to the base real quick, get a single upgrade going. It's definitely worth it because we only have 25 armor right now. That's like nothing. That is like nothing and we're close to the base. So let's fly back in, bada boom. All right, give it to me, bro. Hopefully we still have enough anyway. Um, And give me your saddle, please. Sweet. Let's go to that upgrade station. I really should carry the upgrade station with me. I'm just trying to keep my weight down right now. Just because these pteranodons really leave quite a bit to be desired. Look at that. Already 77. We actually got lucky and we got a boost. We got a boost. We have to skip ramshackle altogether. So that's huge. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, I don't think we're going to need a full hundred dinoid. So I'm going to go ahead and leave half of it here just so that we can keep our weight down. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's continue on, guys. Let's continue on. Let's get more chitin keratin, and let's find that crystal. All right, guys, so small updates. I actually got enough. We're at Ascendant now on our Trandadon saddle, which is huge, 179 armor, so very cool. And our base is just right back there, right behind that rock. Well, there's crystal right here, so that's perfect. And it doesn't seem like there's too much dangerous. Ooh, and there's metal also. Yes! All right. Please be, yes, it's normal crystal. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab a bunch. Let's see what this green crystal is. Is it, okay, it's green gems. Good to know. And then we got tons of metal here too. All right, can I fly? I can fly. Oh, can I grab some metal too? <gasps> and there's obsidian also. All right, let me just see how much of this I can grab. All right, all right, please, please fly. I don't care if you fly slow. Oh, I can. Oh, this is epic. This is epic. All right, so we got a really good place to get metal and everything. That might not actually be a horrible place to live or at least set up a base right there. Um, I'll have to see what other dinos spawn. I mean, there are baddies there. Ooh, what the crap is that? That's like a mini dragon. Weird. Oh, that's crazy. But that little land bridge, I don't know. It could, it could be a spot, potentially. Um, there's a Dodo Rex, though, right over here. So I, I don't know what type of Dodo Rex it is. Let me see if I can get closer. I'm kind of scared. I know, watch. I'm going to see it. It's going to shoot a fireball. We're all going to die. All right, why don't I get my spyglass made up first? I think that would be smarter. Let's do that. So we should just be right up over, over here. So that's super duper close. I'm super impressed at this Trandodon's carrying. I mean, it's obviously because of the Builder's Helmet. But I'm digging that. It's got to be because of the Builder's Helmet. There's no way it could carry that much normally, I don't think. All right. We are safe. We are landed. Nice. I don't like landing there. Can we... 
go around. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's hop on over here. Yes, and let's see if we can make all of our spyglass and everything. So, spyglass, can we make it? All right, we should have all that stuff. This is the one we really want, the amazing spyglass. But I would also like to have this one too. So let's go ahead and grab that. That's just the normal vanilla spyglass. Now I think there's a Gaia spyglass, possibly even a Parados one too. In fact, we can look that up. Spyglass. All right, so here's the Gaia one also. Provides detailed stats, increased range, blah, 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 blah. All right, so it's pretty cool. I do think that the amazing spyglass is probably gonna be the most useful. One would assume Oh, that is so epic. Oh, can we make a, a water? Let me see. Water jar? Please? Yes! Oh my goodness. I can finally dump these stupid water skins. Oh, I hate these things so much. All right, so we'll leave those in there. I'm just making charcoal. Let's toss our water there. Yes, and filled. How perfect would it be if there's silica pearls in here? Oh my goodness, map maker. Map, I, I'm not sure what the map maker's name is. But you should put like one or two silica pearls in there. That would be the coolest thing of all cool. Maybe like a little oil node too. That would be epic. Um, all right, so what to do now? What to do now? Um, I do wanna be able to get some dino teleporters. For that, we do need electronics, so we do need silica pearls. So maybe we can look into that. Oh, oh, this is huge. We can also make soul balls. I'm gonna make a couple of them. They only cost one crystal each. So this way we can keep our dinos safe when we log offline. Perfect! Oh, what a day, what a day. I'm just trying to think. I feel like there's one more thing we need to craft. I'll figure it out. But for now, let's toss all these heavier weighed things. Let's also throw our metal on over into a forge. Come here, Mr. Forge. Let's get that a cooking. We need that metal. Um, Let's see, get our little secret stash I love the secret stash thing I know it's so simple it's so silly but I love it um we can throw that and that in there and let's throw our mushrooms into there perfect 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 things are coming together today all right light fire beautiful we filled our water jug and let's see, so spyglass, what are, what are the spots I normally do? I think I normally go there, so we'll put, this is the Gaia torch that lights up three times bigger than a normal torch. I usually don't use that on camera because that's something that I would be using, um, you know, on myself. I usually don't record at night. But that being said, you did good, buddy, bro. You did amazing. Let's check out our new spyglasses. So we have the normal spyglass. Bada boom, awesome. And then if we do the other spyglass, which we can use, it's kind of a weird thing. The other spyglass, see that little, the awesome spyglass? It's that little uh, circle-y target thing that's in blue. That just stays open. If I press six again, it goes away, but it highlights what all the dinos are. You can actually bring up, let me see, I think it's Alt S, yeah. It's got all this this menu here. So I'm gonna turn off GPS just because I think that's kind of cheaty. I like to have another GPS. Um, you can take away the crosshairs if you want. All sorts of craziness that you can do in here. But it is super duper cool. You can change the outlines. I'm sure you could turn off it doing the outlines too. But it is so handy for spotting dinos and then I can just look without having to do the spyglass out. And it will also not only tell me it's health, it'll tell me it's torpor, it's stats, and what it requires to tame. Isn't that cool? I think that is epic. So most of all, it's able to tell us what the crap each dino's mod is. And hopefully, let's see, the divine. Sometimes it's wrong on what to feed them. But from the looks of it, it says just regular kibble. So that's pretty cool. I can also see what the health is of a guy before I go and attack him so I know if I got a chance at it. Let's go ahead. So this one only has not that much, and we're actually hitting pretty hard now. Come here, bro. Get wrecked. Yes. Oh, that is epic. Super epic. Totally love it. So that's a really important thing, really important piece of the game. Look, we got a griffin down there. Guardian Griffin. 
Ooh, I wonder if we should stick around a little bit. It looks like it's almost going to die. Oh, 158,000 health, though, still. And it's almost going to die at that. Probably shouldn't mess with that. Probably shouldn't even get close to it. But we could use a better Pteranodon. I'm curious about that blue one. Remember that we saw earlier in the episode? I want to see what it tames off of and what mod it's from. Anywho, let me go around, let me venture around a little bit, then we'll see what's up, but we definitely need to get to uh, some more taming today, and I also, a berry getter would probably be our best bet for something we need, but we also need to start scouting out for other places to live. We can't live in the spawn town forever, and this is a new map. I've never used it before. Oh, almost out of stamina. It's a new map. I've never used it before, so I got to familiarize myself with the area. All right, guys, doing amazing, absolutely amazing. I was just checking out some of Froggy Man stuff. He showed me something pretty cool we'll look at in a little bit, but I headed back to the base to make the vending machine for Kibble because it also is a crystal thing. It was just crystal metal. It was no biggie whatsoever. So anyway, we're going to head on over to that same spot. Yeah, it was right over here. And try and grab a whole bunch of metal, and let's make some Kibble so that we can get a little bit better efficiency for some of our tames and I noticed a much better level pteranodon that we need to upgrade to think it's still hopefully safe here let's go ahead come on mr. pteranodon you hop on my on my shoulder I ride you now you ride me let's go ahead and get a whole bunch of metal what's super convenient is we could actually craft up some of this kibble while we're here so that that way if he can't carry all this metal um, he for sure will be able to carry tons and tons of cable because it weighs so much less. All right, is that all the metal nodes? Are you sure? Yeah, oh, there's a few more over here. Let's go ahead and grab them. All the metal we can get. Nice. And nice. Now, we do have our grapple hook. So, worst case scenario, if we had to make a quick getaway, we could hang off the mountain. So, at least a non, like, I know there's a raptor right up there. The raptor wouldn't quite be able to reach us. So that's pretty epic. Now let's see if this guy actually can carry us. No, too weighed down. All right, what if we throw out all the stone? Three, yeah, we're still weighed down. Not by much, but by a little bit. But you know what? I think we can go ahead, craft up some of this kibble. Bada boom. Let's throw half the metal in there. Let's see how much of it we can make. So, I believe I need the, I think it was the blue kibble. Um, all right, let's craft up a couple of those, a couple of these. All right, let's get a couple of these and a couple of, I guess we'll just do, no, we're doing blue already. What was the one we're not doing? Yellow. We'll do a couple of these. All right, all of our kibbles are made. We got at least 10 of each type. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Let's pick it up. Beautiful. And yeah, we should be good to go to get this pteranodon. Now it is a vanilla one, so we probably don't need the crazy insane arrows. Why don't we switch the arrows back to vanilla arrows? Once we have better weight on one of these guys, I do plan to carry around multiple crossbows. It's just so I can have all different types of arrows in them. Because there is more upgraded guy arrows as well. Ooh, our weight is really high right now, too. And there is a Dodo Rex right around here, so we got to be careful. Now, one of... The, oh, yep, there it is. Ew! That is a Prometheus one. Problem is, I think that's from Gaia, though. I'm not positive. All right, we got a 380, 360... Ooh, 600. Yep. And look at that attack. Over 100. That's the one. All right. He might be going in for a landing. Come on. Stay down. Stay landed for a second. Where's, where's my thing? All right. Perfect. No, 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 no. Move. Yes. Yes. We got him. All right. We got to get it knocked out. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Where's, where's the shenanigans? Yes. And it's knocked out. All right, are we safe here? Can I put in the kibble? Yep, it's just gonna be two regular kibble. So one, two. Oh, we got this. This is a thing. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Amazing stats compared to our other ones. 
so very happy right now i feel on top of the world on top of the world epic all right buddy bro you have done a great job but i think it's time for you to retire at least for now at least for now all right so we can just take this pteranodon let's get her soul ball out i could just pick him up put him on shoulder too but i'm gonna soul ball him beautiful you sir yes a new dino for us to name and everything you sir get that saddle nice oh i'm feeling so much better what do you got for stats look at that we're up to almost 500 in the carry weight almost 6,000. in the okay i'm feeling a lot better now whole lot better all right let me return my stuff and yes let's move on with the day all right guys doing so amazing i've been leveling this new pteranodon up a bit and we have over five or 500 on the button for the carry weight which is epic so high in the melee everything it is perfect it is exactly what the doctor ordered what we needed i'm able to wreck basically anything that's vanilla um i haven't done a bronto yet so maybe i could do a bronto with you maybe 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 Let's see, can I get you? Let's see, how are we doing on the health? Oh man, it's gonna take a hot second. But this is good to know how long it takes because a lot of these other divine guys and, and whatnot have usually at least 100,000 health, if not more. If not a lot more. Actually, maybe it was 100,000 Torpor. I don't know, I don't know. But say we can get Brontos, basically anything vanilla. I don't know if I'd do a Rex yet, just because we can't spin like crazy, but we're doing good, and you can see our stamina is pretty high up there. But this will give us a whole bunch of prime meats, which is also just what the doctor ordered. Sweet! Oh my goodness, we are doing amazing. Now, next up, what we have to do, have to do, we got to get a berry getter today. Very, very important. So, all right, that's looking good. I'm sure I think our, our melee is pretty amazing. Let's start to work on the carry weight a bit. Beautiful. We got to get a berry getter, me and Froggy. Um, between the two of us, we'll be sharing them, of course. And we were kind of eyeing out this Stego right here. Look at this. It is a tag Stego, level 648. It's pretty good. The Spyglass says it's max level. Although I'm not, I'm not really sure about that, if it is actually max, but it's pretty dang high. It's over 600, which would be a normal Stego's max. And I think we could do this. It just takes regular kibble, which we got a whole bunch of, and it just takes a vanilla Stego saddle, so that we should be golden. I think we're going to go for this to help us to get berries faster. So pretty epic. I was hoping for a trike too, possibly, but we'll see, we'll see. So, another cool thing, Froggy pointed this out to me, and he's using it on his base. Let's find where ours is, our base is, right over here. And something that definitely is amazing in Gaia for early game. Um, I've been feeling pretty safe here, although I've already seen a Dodo Wyvern fly right above head. So it's possible something nasty could happen. Well, for those cases, there is something special in the Gaia mod, which is called Ruins. Gaia Ruins. Look at how cheap that is. It's mostly stone. Let's go over to the Gaia, um, is it in the here? Let's see, Structures, Gaia, Secret Stash. Where are the crap in Ruins? Maybe it's in this one. Let's see, uh, go out like that. I'm not positive where it is. Maybe I do it in my inventory. Ruin. Oh, yep, do it in the inventory. Okay, so let's check this thing out. It's a structure. Ooh, it takes a hot second to craft. But it is going to be so helpful. So let's read what while we're waiting for it to craft. Let's just look at what it says. So it says, a great hiding place where you can build your basic necessities crafting stations. Once inside, you endure the weather much better. And wild creatures cannot, can't target you so you're basically safe now hopefully all modded stuff obeys this because it's possible that they don't it's very possible they don't but having one of these and putting it a by our base but also 
in other key areas, like over by that metal and crystal, could definitely prove to be useful. All right, let's see if the, cra the craft's about to finish. So go ahead and finish, bro. And, and bada bam. Wow, it weighs 75 pounds. And look at this thing. It's like a portable base. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, I hate this. Go away. Go away. All right. Bam! And look at this. It's ginormous. So it sets up like all the walls, your floors, and everything. And see that little purple triangle, like pyramid thing? Gaia Ancient Ruins. So you endure the weather better and creatures ignore you. Yeah, isn't this epic? Oh, I wish every mod had this. It's got a floor and everything, so we can just, inside of this, build whatever we need to build. Now, I want to test something with it. I want to see what happens if I, let's aggro somebody. Um, crap. Let's see if, I don't know if I can hit the Bronto through the tree. Uh, you dumb tree, will you move out of the way? I also don't know if something's already aggroed at you and then you run inside if they stop aggroing. So I don't know, these are all interesting things we gotta find out, but anyway, let's, hopefully we got a clear shot now. Let's go head on up. That Bronto's pretty far away. Come here, Bronto, can I walk? Okay, perfect. And we still got the triangle. Oh, of course, there's another dang tree in the way. Let's see if we can get this guy. Ooh. All right, so he's definitely aggroed on us once we hit him. But no, he's still aggro. All right, so maybe it's... T oh, wait, he's not aggroing. Oh, he's on aggro. Maybe. I don't know. Is he going to attack? I don't know. He's pretty stupid. Maybe he actually did stop getting mad. I don't know. I don't know, but that's cool. So possibly you could set this up and shoot out of it. I don't know. It definitely did get aggro for a little bit, but either way, that is an awesome thing. So Froggy has one set up as well over down here, and he's living in it. So it's a pretty handy. Yeah, let's check him out over here. There he is. Oh man, it's perfect, perfect, perfect. So also when you log off, you don't gotta worry about dinos um, coming and breaking your stuff, I would assume. Hopefully it means they don't aggro like within the in the walls. I don't know. We'll experiment with it more. In any case, let's um let's meet up with Froggy. Let's go get that Stego tamed and hopefully we can get something modded today. What's up, Froggy man? How you doing today? Oh, amazing as always, D Mac. Nice. You ready to go tame that Stego? I am. That thing's amazing. Oh, I know. Froggy found him and we were just like, that's gotta be what we get. It is so cool. It is, and it's like max level. Yeah. Normally, I don't like Sagos very much because they're so slow, but that tech one looks awesome. All right, should just be oh. right around here. You see yeah, him? Oh, there, there he is. is. All right, perfect, dude. We can just chill right up here, I guess, and, and start pegging him. Yeah, oh, I'm going to do something because I got bad luck. What's I'm that? do this. Uh trying to put the thing how do you use a soul trap you taught me without you hold it down gun, you gotta right? you gotta um get the ball open it yep there you go yeah there we I go i don't know Thank why you. on earth you went down there froggy oh um <laughs> all right you do what you do you do you. i can run I'll do fast me. ready all right ready three two one go yeah Ooh, I got him. nice dude oh oh no Oh, oh, hold on. Ooh. I got this. I'm gonna go around the tree. No, no, we're good. You can't get me. I got a tree in the way. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh See? my goodness. Yeah. Right, yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's yeah, kind of yeah. hard oh. for me to hit him from here, so you probably are gonna get better shots than I am. I got a stabby thing. Oh, I bet that does a lot. Oh, this is perfect. Right. Keep him right there. Oh, ow, oh! I am not showing the, my connected hit. Oh, you know what? I have my my hideaway stuff. Oh, it broke my stuff. Okay, I'm running. I'm Dude, he's go. almost done. Yeah, he's down. I hope you didn't stab him after. Oh, perfect. Dude, throwing the kibble. You got it? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. 
Oh, this is nice. And guess what? All the other Stegos, they're not getting mad. It's not like the trikes. Yeah, because you know what they're like? They're like, that's a robot. He's not a real one. Yeah, they're like, you're not one of us. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, this now is perfect, this dude. Looks. Thank goodness. Berries for days. Right? Oh, my goodness. All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and make up the saddle. Unless you already make a saddle. Uh, I did not make a saddle All yet. right, let me, I'm right by my base. Let me go run back, make a saddle. Oh, and then let's try this guy out. All right, Wait, saddle is crafting up. Do you finish? Yeah, it's all done. Oh, nice, dude. All right, I'm coming back down with the saddle. Awesome. Oh, this is so good. Ooh, tamed out 971. Wow. That's so like 71, cool 72 levels better than normal. Now, do not... Go and smack that divine guy as your no, first no, thing. No, 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 I'm not going to. I just want the berries. Oh, Yo, man. look at all the berries. A real lot? Oh, so much. Oh, that is so good, Froggy. That oh, one we're is good. so cool yeah, looking. To worry about. We just won our... Is the Easter event still going on? No, that's over. So those aren't Easter colors. They actually no. just on like that. Yeah, this that thing's is the coolest sick. thing. You want to try this little yeah, slow? Yeah, dude, I get, definitely want to. We're definitely going to have to share this thing for getting berries. Yeah, look at the berries already. Let's see. Wow, dude, that's like, that would take me like 20 minutes to get that much by hand. Right? Oh, oh that. that is so good. You should have seen me trying to get the stuff to knock out that Anki yesterday. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this guy's not bad. I mean, it's kind of slow, but it's got a nice swipe area. Yeah, it does. And look, it's actually really strong. 128. Yeah, no, it's real good, dude. Oh, this is perfect, Froggy. All right, let's use this to make a whole bunch more arrows, like good arrows. And then oh, yeah. um, I want to go see if I can maybe get a divine pteranodon or something like that. Oh, all right, let's go do it. All right, epic, dude, epic. All right, guys, that was pretty epic. I did a little berry getting session, and I was able to make, I also unlocked, the next round of arrows, Gaia Greater Stone Trank Arrows. Hopefully, these are gonna be our ticket to knocking stuff out. There are darts, but I'm not quite at that level yet. Um. Let me just see what other arrows are. So there is the Parados Trank Arrow, which I think these are probably going to be the best. But you can see they take a Parados Soul, which we don't have yet. I think we have one soul. But we were using these ones before. Now we're going to be using these ones. So 60 Narco, barrows a pop, uh, narco Berries a pop. Not that bad. Now these metal ones are probably amazing, but you got to be level 79. So... I think that should be good. Let's equip them into our into our uh, crossbow. Hopefully that's going to be enough. I mean, that's going to be more we're going to be able to land into a Pteranodon anyway. So I think we're golden. I definitely think we're a golden. We just got to locate one. But I did find, let's see here. I did find a 400. Let's just see here. Uh, but boom. Where is it? Are you? Oh, that would be great if you were it. All right, Divine 220. That's actually not bad. How much Torpor is that? That is a lot of Torpor. 57,000 Torpor. And I don't even know if we can knock it out with, with the guy stuff. We might need the Parados stuff. But there is one around here that's a 400 that I saw earlier. And maybe even better than that. So we'll try our luck. We'll see what we can do. But I bet you any, any of these Divine Pteranodons are probably better than the one that we have. Ooh, Froggy, check this out. It's a Pegasus. It is a Pegasus. Oh, my goodness. And it says to tame it, it's passive, and it's just too simple kibble. Huh. What, what, what color is the simple? The green? The green. All right. I'm yep. going to try this. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Yo! Oh, I think. Oh crap! He doesn't get mad. I hope. Uh oh. I don't know. Dude, he's he's mad out. at me. Oh no! Froggy, uh, no! 
Oh, I don't know how to save you. It's okay. Um, is he still aggro at me? Yeah, he's chasing you down. Run, oh, D-Mac. I'm running. I don't know what to where. I don't know where I can run though. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think he's gonna eat your face. Why? It said you're passive. Oh, All right. Oh, you know what? I bet you need the ninja outfit. Oh, good. Yeah, you know what? You're right. You're totally right. Oh, but that's a fairly simple one to possibly tame. Once once we get the ninja outfit. Yeah, because I know there's they have a special outfit that, that makes you invisible to yeah. animals. Yep. I mean, I think normally you're supposed to do that with a ghillie suit anyway. Oh, that's that rack. Get away from the rack. Yeah, chaos rack. Stay away from him. All right. So we're going to go hunting. We'll see if we can find a divine. We're just hoping that maybe that Pegasus would work. Oh, that would have been so cool. Right? That was a cool looking Pegasus. Right? Oh, paradox. dude, there's a 220 divine here. Um, a pterodon. Yeah. I'd like higher level than that, but I think this would be a good test subject at the very least to see if we can knock him out. Um. All right, all right. I think he's coming in for a landing. I'm going to try this. All right, let's see if, if we can bola him. I think we can do it. Bola? Oh crap, it went right through. Did it work? All right, bullet worked. Are you, are you down oh, here work. shoot with me? I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm right here, I'm right by you. Holy crap, this is gonna take a while, dude. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. We need to both do it. No, I am doing it, I got you. All right, just keep nailing his head, bro, his head. Right, head. In the face! In the face! Holy crap. Keep on doing it, keep on doing it. It's we're almost out. Hey, the bowl is almost out too. Oh, just two more hits. All right, stop. Yeah, dude. You got him. And it's just one blue. Holy crap. I'm going to give him a Dinoade. You know, it didn't really need it. Dude, that trained, I think, the stamina too, maybe. I don't know. I helped on that. Wow. So I feel like a higher level one might be a bit more than we can do with these arrows because they would lose the bola and run away Look at that thing it looked like though these arrows were were still doing uh stuff on its own yeah they do a lot of torpor over time the problem is time was not on our side we had to do it before the bola released thing oh look at the colors isn't it beautiful dude Yes, it is. Oh, I hope this kibble works for it. I hope, I hope. But this is so good, Froggy. I'm so happy. It is. Man, I'm happy for you. For us, dude. We got it. Alpha Tribe for the win. Alpha Tribe. All right, Froggy. Ooh, it oh, finished. it finished. Who is that quick? Yes. So the next question is, can we even ride this thing? Can that even be a thing? I'm gonna see if a normal terrain on saddle works on it. I don't have high hopes. It doesn't. Man! All right, so let's go see if we can get a divine saddle and what that cost. We just gotta kill these things. <laughs> Easier said than done, bro. Easier said just than stab done. Stab them in the face. Oh, man. Do you still have, oh, you don't have the saddle from that other one, right? No. That's no, not a no, poison divine, is it? Uh-uh. All right. No, I think you I think you evolve them. I'm not sure. Well, I do know. Okay, let's let's type this in. Let's look at the Ingrams and just see. The Terra. So a uh, poison or just a divine saddle. That's gonna cost five divine souls, bro. Five! We don't have one. No. So we'll do our best. Maybe I wonder if we could knock out another divine and then kill it. Yeah, that might be the easiest way. Maybe. But you know what? I think this will be a job for next time, dude. All right. Sounds good, D-Mac. All right, Froggy. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. And thank you so much. We did so much today. Awesome tech, yeah. Stego. And amazing. Our first divine, Froggy. Our first divine. Yeah. I know. I'm excited. All right, D-Mac. I'll see you tomorrow. Later, bro. All right, guys, I think we did pretty good today. We got a slew of pteranodons, including our first divine. Oh, yeah, baby. Maybe we can't afford the saddle yet, but we'll get there. We'll get there. No problem. Oh, my goodness. We also got the Textega with Froggy. So pretty sweet.
pretty sweet progress. Anyway, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest comments or names that you guys leave in the comments. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and you got to comment your name down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have our two Pteranodons from last time. We have Spinner and Windrider. Oh my goodness, I love it so very much, so very much. Indeedy, and they're mate boosted, which is super cool. So, I've been keeping all my dinos in here for the time being. That's right, so they can get passive XP, lay eggs, do all that sort of good stuff. For next episode, oh my goodness, we got a ton of them. Um... Yeah, I think I did one off camera. Yeah, this guy was a 520. So anyway, we've got the 600, a 520, and the Divine Pteranodon. That's right. So three different name suggestions for tomorrow. Comment below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again, and peace out.